Well, it became clear pretty quickly after we got Orville that we had a problem. And our problem was we don't have a trailer for Orville. In fact, we don't have a pencil trailer, period. Everything that we've done up to this point is gooseneck. That's worked out okay for us, but the problem that we've got right now is we can really only move one piece of equipment at a time. Now that we have two dump trucks and we can move more material and get more done, it's really starting to hurt us when the job's kind of far away to only be able to move one thing at a time. So today we're gonna to try to solve that problem. The first thing that we have to solve is we actually have no way to hook up a pedal tow trailer to any of our trucks except the 750. So I guess we need to go fix that first. Well, we were gonna go get a trailer, but now all of a sudden I have to feed the cameraman. Okay, truthfully, I needed lunch too. All right, we're fed. Now we can really go buy a trailer this time. Let's do it. Let's do it. dual tandem uh, 25 foot with a 5 foot dovetail so 30 feet total and they're getting it ready for us and should be calling us back in a half hour or so so maybe not even that long so we will go over there and get it whenever it's ready um, one question I'm sure we'll get because it's a question I even had myself is do you get a new trailer versus a used trailer and you know we didn't like buy this thing on a whim we've known this was coming for a while i've been looking in the used trailer market for around here for the last uh last several weeks and what we're finding is that this type of trailer around here for one that's in any kind of decent condition at all is like close to 85 percent of what you could buy a new one for and honestly for that price difference i'm gonna go new with the factory warranty and i know the brakes are good and i know the wiring's good and i'm not gonna get it home and then figure out there's 25 things i need to do to it it should just be good to go the way it is so that's ultimately why we decided to go new anything that's in any kind of price range that's decent the trailer is just destroyed you know you can visibly see damage to the frame or you know needs tires needs brakes needs repairs not sure about wiring you know all of the buzzwords that would just lead you to believe hey i probably don't want to buy this thing because it's just going to be a bunch of headaches when you get right down to it even if you did buy one of those used trailers for 85 percent of what it was new to get it all fixed up it would probably cost you more than yeah to you'd, buy be, a new you'd be right back into it because invariably the first thing you're going to have to do is redeck it yeah. or you're going to find out something's broken on one of the ramps mm -hmm. or you know one of the brakes is burned out or hey these lights don't work and you know we need to be able to go to work we need to we're we bought it so that we could put it to work immediately and so this gives us a way to do that.
Okay, well we got the trailer and we're going home with it. I can tell you we will not be driving it with the 250 very frequently. Uh, we got a little bit more trailer than we have truck at the moment, but thankfully we didn't buy it for the F-250. Um, I mean, it's hauls fine. It's not a power issue. It's just the back end of that trailer gets squirrely and you absolutely know it in the front of the truck. This is like our third Big Tex trailer. And, you know, we're not particularly brand loyal to Big Tex. That's really not what it is. Um, we've had really good luck with them. They've held up really well. And we have really good dealer support here. That's why we just keep going back to them. You know, it's, it's good product and we get good service. Okay, this is what we really wanted to see. If we'd be able to haul both pieces of equipment at the same time. Lengthwise, we're good to go. I'm a little bit concerned about the weight. I think we might actually be a little bit over in this configuration. So I'm going to go back and look it up again and just see where we're at. Um, but if we had to do it in a pinch, at least we know that we could do it. We've got another equipment trailer, so... At least we can move two pieces in one trip now, even if we can't get them on the same trailer. So again, to recap, we went with the we went with the Big Tex 22 pH. I think its GVWR is either 23.9 or 24,000, and it's a 25 foot deck. It's got a five foot dovetail and it's got the spring assisted mega ramps on it, which are actually really nice. They're not nearly as difficult to put up and down as I really thought they were going to be. Uh, it's a dual tandem trailer, pinnel toe electric brakes. And really the only thing that we had to do to it was just adjust the pinnel height uh, made up to the truck. The pinnel on the truck was actually lower than what I thought it was going to be. Uh, but everything looks great. we got a job coming up in two days that we need the excavator for, so I fully expect we're going to be putting this thing to work. Okay, guys, we appreciate you riding along with us. We're going to have to cut this video off because we're both about to sweat to death in 5,000% humidity. So if you like what we're doing, Consider subscribing to the channel. Push the like button. Drop us a comment. We'll see you on the next video. <laughs> it's for the blooper reel. Yeah. But uh, until then, if you like what we're doing, consider subscribing to the channel. Push the like button. Bucking. Yeah, bucking. Bucking. Haven't you ever heard of a bucking? <laughs> I bucking, you bucking, we she thee. Anyway. <laughs> until next time. If that sound like what am I announcing a documentary? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe out of the toilet. So. Right? Until next time, if you like what we're doing, consider subscribing to the channel. Push the like button. Right back bucket. to the bucket. <laughs> bucket, man. What, what is a bucket? If anyone knows it's what a bucket is. Yeah, whipsters. <laughs> Cameraman and a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We will see you on the next video. That's a terrible outro. I just didn't feel, didn't feel like it flowed. It felt forced. <laughs> I can't work under these conditions! <laughs> <laughs>